Hey third graders, it's Mrs. McLean. I hope you're doing well and staying safe. Today, we are going to be talking about text features, which are the parts of a book or article that help you better understand what you are reading. Have you ever noticed when you are reading a school book that there are many things to look at besides the main body of the text? You will often find things like maps, photos, fact boxes, and even special typefaces to highlight important information. These are called text features. Let's take a look at these five. Maps, photos with captions, charts, diagrams, and fact boxes. Maps can show us many types of locations that may be mentioned in your readings. In these three different maps of Indiana, we see the locations of cities, major highways, and even natural features like hills and rivers. You can also see how near or far these places are from one another. Second are photos with captions. While the photos show you an image of what the writer is talking about, don't forget to read the caption or description below the photo to get more information. Here we can see what zebras look like and read a fun fact about them in the caption. This caption also highlights a word in boldface, italics, and color to let you know that this is an important word to know. Next, we have charts. Charts are a good way to understand data or information that involves numbers. Instead of just reading about which continents have the most people, it helps to look at a circle graph or pie chart like you see here. You can quickly and easily see that Asia has the most people and Australia has the fewest. Likewise, in the pictograph, which is a chart that uses pictures to represent numbers, you can see how much the world population is expected to change from 1990 to 2100. Now, let's take a look at diagrams. A diagram is a drawing that shows how the parts of something work together. In this diagram of the water cycle, we see that the sun heats the water in the sea, causing it to turn into vapor and rise up into the clouds. When the wind moves the clouds, it may rain or snow, sending the water back to the sea. The diagram makes it much easier to visualize how all of this works. Finally, you will often see fact boxes when you are reading about a subject. Fact boxes are parts of the page set off from the main section of your reading. They usually contain interesting facts or background information about the main topic in a way that catches your attention and is easy to read. For example, do you know how bullfrogs got their name? This fact box will tell you. So now that you know more about text features, you can begin the assignment that goes with this lesson. If you have any questions, you can always email me or visit me during my office hours. I hope you have a great day. Bye.